Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Zanita. Please make sure you do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, turn your notification bell on so you will know when I post. Please leave me a comment down below. And of course, if this is not your cup of tea, pass it along. All right, y'all. So I went to Sephora as promised. So I'm going to show you the goodies that I got. And then I might talk about what I'm going to get later. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, y'all. So there is a lot of stuff in this bag. Um, And there's no rhyme or reason to why I bought what I bought. Well, maybe there's a little, but I'm just going <laughs> to show you what I do have. So, we're going to start with the two biggest items that I see. So, I have the Sephora. This is the Pro Brush, the foundation brush in the number 47. And I saw, um, if you are familiar with I Am Shelly, she uses this brush a lot to blend out her concealer. And I was like, oh, that is such a cute brush. And it's small enough to get underneath your eyes. So, why not? And the Sephora collection is 30% off. So I have that Pro Brush. Then I have another one, which is the Pro Brush 98. This is a uh, highlight brush. It is so cute, so small and so tapered. So I thought it would be good for my highlighter and not even just my highlighter, but like to set my under eye with like uh, some loose setting powder. If I, in case I don't want to use a sponge, I thought this would be cute. So, and y'all know, the Sephora Pro brushes are really pricey, but they're good quality brushes. So, if you want to try these, I recommend getting them during the sale, and they are 30% off. So, get these. Okay, so, for, like, makeup, and I don't really get a lot of skincare this time, which, usually during the Sephora sale, that's what I get, but I, I got a few items. So, we're going to start with the biggest, which is... This is the um, Sol, what is this, Sol Janeiro, um, the Elastic Cream. And this is their new scent, the Flora Cream. It's enriched with retinol, um, mimicking cocaine oil, and plant collagen. And I smelled it, because at first I'm like, I'm not going to go get this. But honey, I smelled it, and she smelled good. This is what she looks like. And, well off and get oh she thick she's thick thick that's what it looks like as soon as you open it it smells like spring like it just smells like spring and summer and all of that so i will let you guys know how this works out for me because i've never used that cream before and i actually wanted a smaller size but they were sold out y'all have gotten it already okay um Next, I did get sunscreen and I got the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen with SPF 40. So I got this in um, a package not too long ago, like a small sample size. And I actually liked it. I actually liked it. It went on clear and it didn't leave a cast and it mixed well with my moisturizers. So I decided to get this versus the Glow Recipe one just because... I have the Glow Recipe uh, Moisturizing Cream, wherever it is. I have that, and I just feel like I would like this better. So, I got the small size because a little bit of this goes a long way. And I just want to really make sure I like it before I purchase a full size. Next on the list, looks like it's mostly makeup items in here now. Um, I did get the Fenty uh, Pro Filter Instant Touch Retouch Primer. This is the soft matte one. So, I've never used the Fenty primer, and I really want to try it because I kind of want to do like a full face of Fenty in a video for y'all. So, I got this primer. If y'all have used it, let me know. But I got a mini because I have a drawer full of primers, and I actually need to do a decluttering video with y'all. Y'all don't even want to see what's over here that needs to come out, but we got to do it. Uh, next from Fenty, I got the um, Stunner Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. So, if you are an OG and you've been following me, then you know like a couple months ago, back during the holidays, I had the Dior uh, lipstick, the liquid lipstick, and I got it 
and I think it was like, or it's a red color. I don't know where it is, but I think it's in my purse. But anyway, I got it. I liked it. It wasn't like for me like that blue red. It had just like a slight orange to it when it dried. But I got uncensored because they said this is supposed to be like a true red. And I just really want to try. But it also too looks like under the light it has that orangeiness to it. So if y'all have used this before, let me know. So I'm hoping this is worth it. But it looks cute on everybody else. And it's Rihanna. I love Rihanna. So even if I don't like it, I might keep it. Like, you shouldn't do that. If you don't like something, take it back, y'all. Take it back. Okay. Uh, next is also Rihanna. I got um the Fenty Icon Lipsticks. So I only got one. I got the shade Mother Lover, which is like this nude pinky shade. And I feel like I'm going to have a hard time putting this together. But this, of course, is the lipstick. And I know y'all probably seen mad reviews on this. But this is the shade I got. And then, of course, I bought the case for her because why not? Although these are cute to travel with in your purse like that. But... I got the case for it, and I know y'all have probably seen this case. This case looks kind of complicated. And yeah, look, I don't even know how this is gonna work out, but yeah, I ain't got time. We'll figure it, we'll figure it out. I don't know, I'll let y'all know how that goes. Ooh, next I have the Danessa Marks Color Fix. This is um, her eye, lip, and cheek pigment. And the shade I have here is Latte. It's like this mauve pinky shade. You can use it on your eye, your lip, your cheeks, of course. And I swatched it in the store. And it was so pretty. And I think it would be really pretty for spring. So if y'all have tried it, let me know. I got the one size. This is the um, Turn Up the Base Butter Sip Concealer. And so I got the shade dark one in neutral. And if you watch me, like I know y'all do, if you haven't, y'all, I don't know what y'all doing. But I have the Turn Up the Base Balming Blur Cream from one size, actually in the shade dark one in neutral. And I love it. But when I swatched this concealer in the store, I realized that it's not the same shade as the uh, foundation. So I'm thinking this is they don't really coincide but like you know how some foundations have the matching concealers but the number shows you what your brightening concealer should be versus what it sh you know if it should be your like your skin tone y'all know what i'm trying to say this i feel like this is the one for your brightening shade dark in one in the concealer is your brightening shade if you use dark in one in the foundation if that makes sense i hope y'all understand what i'm saying Okay, then I also got another item from one size. This is the 24 hour point made gel eyeliner pencil. So I know I bought like a liquid um, eyeliner from NYX not too long ago, but I've always been intrigued by this pencil because it's, or this pan rather, because it's so thin, so pointy. And I really want to get good at doing wing liner. I'm gonna get it out. Of course, it would be hard for me to get out. But I really want to get good at wing liner. And I feel like this would be the perfect pen to learn with. No! I got the pencil. I wanted the eyeliner pen. Oh. Well, this might be a good pencil to um use as far as um a good gel liner. So not lost i just have to get the pen on my next purchase but that's what i thought it was but yeah it's a 24 hour gel eyeliner pencil not pen oh well that's my bad i got really excited in sephora then of course i repurchased huda beauty uh this is the bomb brow pencil y'all know this is my jam i know i've been kind of using other stuff lately but this is bae I got her during the sale and I love her in the shade of black brown. 
And then I saw this gorgeous gloss from Sephora. This is the Sephora um, lip gloss. And the shade here is Confident. But like, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I can't wait to try this. This is so gorgeous. And then last but not least, I went and got the uh, Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. So, I swatched this like several times because if y'all have looked at the photos online on the website, they don't necessarily match with the swatches on the models, if that makes sense. The shade that they have the shade reference photo that they have and then the model that they have like none of the swatches match so i was so confused i even did the shade finder through the app to see what it would pair me with it paired me with the um shade 46c which has a cool undertone i don't really know that i'm a cool undertone but i did use my nars foundation as like the reference for it and that's the shade it gave me or actually no it gave me 48w which when you saw that bottle it was way too warm so i think i tried i can't remember what other foundation i tried but it gave me 46c but then when i saw 44n 44n looked like it could be a match too but when i kept swatching i'm like okay 44n look like it'll work but it also looked like once it got to my forehead it might be too light so i went with 46c so we gonna see how that work i'm definitely gonna do a review video on this which will probably be friday's video so y'all stay tuned for that and we gonna see and honestly i don't know i really don't know i hope i like it but if i don't i'm definitely taking it back and i'm probably gonna get the ysl skin tint because i was really eyeing it and something in my soul was telling me i probably should have got that one so be on the lookout for that and then actually that's it um they gave me a sample of the pharmacy uh green clean makeup remover and i've actually used that before so that's nice if you want to try it and then an ultra uh facial cream from kills but that's all i got so thank y'all for tuning in um if you are new remember all those things i told you at the beginning of the video so i can't wait to demo all this stuff for y'all so y'all be on the lookout and i also what else do i have coming up i actually did another vlog so that'll be coming next week so y'all just stick around okay all right and until next time deuces bye y'all